module 3 has four chapters. However, the discussion of the four chapters will not be sequential. We will start with um, chapter 13. Okay, so in chapter 13, the first lesson is rectangles and squares. So that's the continuity from the last lesson that we had. So that's why I have to, to skip chapters. Okay, so um, in this in this lesson, uh, the kids are expected to know the perimeter and the area of rectangles. Okay, so this is perimeter. Okay, so um, in grade three, the kids were able to use uh, pictures to determine the area. And they had uh, the formulas as well. Okay, so... This is just a continuation. It's just now it's working backwards. It could be that the perimeter is given and the area is given and we're finding one of the, either the length or the breadth or the side. Okay, so which means for a rectangle, the perimeter is technically equal to the length plus the breadth plus the length plus the breadth. Okay, so again, the book uses breadth, which is technically the same thing as width. Okay, but for consistency's sake, I'm just going to use breadth because that's what the book uses. Okay, so for area, the area is technically equal to the length times the breadth. Okay, so which means if in grade three, they were asked to find the perimeter. This time around, the perimeter could be given and either the length or the breadth is missing. Okay, so which means the operation or another formula that could be derived from that formula would be length plus breadth is equal to the perimeter divided by two. So why is it divided by two? Because there's two sets of length plus breadth. Okay, so similarly, either the length is missing or the breadth is missing from the area. That means this will be area divided by the breadth or area divided by the length. Okay, so, but from here, if we were asked for either the length or the breadth, then the number, we would subtract either the length or the breadth that's missing. So again, it's a matter of working backwards now that the kids are in grade four. Okay, so for area of, this is for a rectangle. These are rectangles. Okay, for the perimeter of the square, this will be side plus side plus side plus side. Okay, which means it's also equal to four times the side. Okay, but similarly for area of a square, this will be side times side. Okay, so which means if in a rectangle, in a square, sorry, in a square, we're asked to look for the side, and we're given the perimeter, it'll just be the perimeter divided by four. Okay, however, if we're given the area, this is a little bit trickier because the kids are not um, taught the notion behind square roots yet. So there's no square roots, but the kids need to remember that two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16, and so on and so forth. To be able to find the side given the area of a square. Okay, so these are four squares. Okay, so um, our exercises for today comes from page 134 and page 137. Okay, so I'm going to start with page 134. Okay, problem number three says the perimeter of a rectangle is 32 centimeters. And it gives a drawing of a rectangle. So if they don't give a drawing of a rectangle, it's best to write down the given. So given is perimeter. 32 
centimeters. Okay, then it says the breadth is 5 centimeters. So this will be our breadth for consistency. This is the length, that's the breadth. So the breadth is 5 centimeters. So if I write down the given, that will be 5 centimeters. Okay, then it says find the length. Okay, so this is a good strategy to teach kids so that the thought process is organized. Identify the things that are given and identify the question. Okay, so which means since the perimeter is given and the length is missing, first we need to find length plus breadth is equal to perimeter divided by 2. Okay, so that means this is 32 divided by 2. So here, if the kids can do it mentally, then mentally. But if they can't, then we have to do it computationally. 32 divided by 2. So this is divide 1, 2, 1, bring down 12. So that means this will be 16. Okay, so this is 16. Now, if we continue with the process, that would have been a zero. Okay, so which means the length plus the breadth is 16. So if we're looking for the length, that will be 16 minus 5. So when we take 16 minus 5, that is 11 centimeters. Okay, so then... Okay, so in number 5, it says... Uh, Ibrahim sticks a ribbon of length 72 centimeters around a square top box. Okay, what is the length of the side of the square top? So there's a picture of a 3D picture, which I will not draw, but I am given that the perimeter is 72 centimeters, and it's of a square. So then the question is, what is the length of the side? Okay, so which means if we're looking for the side, we take the perimeter divided by 4. So if we take 72 and divided by 4, that will give us the side. So again, if we cannot do it mentally, then we have no choice but to do it computationally. Okay, so I'm going to put the computation here. So this is 72 divided by 4. So if we take 72 divided by 4, that 7 divided by 4 is 1, then that means this will be 3, bring down 32, that will be 8, which means this is 32, which leaves me with nothing. So that means the side is 18 centimeters. Okay, that's the first set of problems. We will do the second set on page 137. So problem number three from page 137 says, the perimeter of a square garden is 24 meters. So perimeter is 24 meters. Okay, it asks for two things. The first, it says find the length of its side. Okay, so which means we know that if it's a square, the perimeter is four times the side, which means the side will be 24 divided by four. Okay, so again, this, the kids should be able to divide. So, finger count by fours gives us six. So, the answer to the first question is six centimeters is the length of a site. Okay, then it says find the area of the square garden. So, to find the area, that will be side times side. So, six times six, again, counting by six, that will be 36. So 36 centimeters squared. Okay. Now in problem number four, it says the area of a square is 49 centimeters squared. So area is 49 centimeters squared. Okay. 
The first question says, find the length of the side of the square. Okay, so again, area is side times side. So uh, for, um, for consistency, it is best that we teach the kids to always write down the formulas that they will be using. So even if in the last problem they wrote it down, write it again every time it's a new problem. Okay, it's better and then it stays in the brain cells. Okay, so which means here, this is 49 is equal to side times side. So which means we got to figure out what times itself will give us 49. So again, if we start with 2 times 2, that's 4. 3 times 3, that's 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49, which means the side must be 7 centimeters. So this is 7 centimeters. And finally, it asks what is the perimeter of the square. So again, if we do 4 times the side, or it could be side plus side plus side plus side, is just the same as 4 times the side, this will be 4 times 7. So again, you can either count by 7s till 4 fingers, or by 4 till 7 fingers. Either way, the answer will be 28 centimeters squared. So again, key to success is to identify the formulas. If it's easier for the kids to draw, then draw. If it's not needed, then the formula should suffice. That concludes lesson one of chapter